this year has started off pretty well, with share markets in many places up and better indications coming from debt-troubled countries in Southern Europe. However, it's still too soon to give the all-clear for the global economy. And there are four key reasons for this. Now, firstly, on foreign exchange markets, the term currency war is being heard more and more. In a currency war, countries compete with each other by lowering their exchange rate. And the fear is that such a development could trigger retaliation by other countries and in turn lead to a general decline in international trade and harm all countries. Secondly, the US fiscal cliff discussions are still not fully settled. And the risk continues to loom that an abrupt contraction of the budget will derail the economy. Thirdly, in the Eurozone, political developments in Spain and Italy are making investors worry whether these countries will stick to their plans to strengthen their economies and public finances. And finally, the outcome of the negotiations with Cyprus, a Eurozone country that also needs financial help, may also have implications for market sentiment at large. So in the second month of 2013, the situation with respect to the global economy can be summed up as so far, so good. But these four factors show that we should not get carried away too much too soon.